well. The world is full of dangerous people, so at all times, be aware of your surroundings because danger locks so you don't fall prey hello fierce fitness family welcome back so today i've been battling with myself if i should share this topic the story or not but i decided i should share it because it will or might help someone out there if you're just coming across my channel i am mel and my channel is about fitness travel vlogs so on and so forth but something very strange happened to me at the gym so i felt i should share because i know a whole lot of people go to gym and this can happen anywhere okay it can happen anywhere you might be walking on the road a vehicle just stops open the door and they hijack you it happens all the time so be aware of your surrounding all right so on this day i left for the gym around 12 12 midnight like past 12 midnight like a.m because i have a lot to do i have kids before having kids i go to the gym early in the morning 7 8 a.m finish with the gym and then i go into the rest of but you know when you start having kids all your routine all your plan change if you're a mom you're yet to be a mom you're gonna see it when you are so yes i went to the gym late in the night on this day so what i normally do when i go to the gym late i love to just stream on my tiktok channel and just have a little bit of fun and i always tag it as dancing and having fun you know dancing and walking out sorry that's what i always do so on this day i go to the gym and something else i do is when i enter the gym i always scan around because i know i'm going late going to the gym late at night and i choose to go to a, a hotel gym because it's close by where i stay so even if it's late i'll still be able to catch up and do my workout and so on and so forth because i take this fitness thing serious if you know me even if you don't know i'm telling you now all right so walking into uh the gym when i get there late i or even if i get there early i don't know it's just i'm so conscious about my surrounding my environment and everything that i always check out everything you know so walking into the gym i always go around the gym to see if someone else is in there walking out or i'm alone so i entered the gym i did my normal move, uh, scanning around the gym and i noticed i was the only one at the gym so and this gym is on the ground okay so you get you get you get my point so after doing the scanning i said okay let me go on the running machine warm up myself before i start the workout okay because i wanted to do legs that day so either i use the treadmill or i use the bicycle but anyways so i went on the treadmill set my tablet and i started live streaming so sorry for the angle of this video the dimension and all of that because this is actually a live stream a tiktok live stream so hence the dimension that being said when I set my tablet so I had my headset on and I was playing YouTube songs from my phone and singing and dancing and people were you know commenting on TikTok and I, was, I always say the name of the artist the song I'm playing what country the artist is from and so on so you know my watchers watching me from TikTok would know so when this person came into the gym i noticed him he walked in and walked straight into the gym like he was also checking the gym that didn't alert me at that point i didn't you know it's normal to check the gym because some tourists they arrive in this country late in the night so around 12 a.m they check into their hotel and they go around looking at the gyms and everything you know just to see the hotel that they are lodging in so that was not a thing for me he walked in scanned around and he walked out so i thought he was leaving after a few seconds or few minutes I, I, I didn't check the time but it was uh, there was few minutes at least in between then he walked back in and walked inside again and scanned it the second time and then he left and then when he came in the third time and he scanned it again i was like there's something up with this guy but one thing i didn't notice because i had my headset on and i had my music loud i didn't know that he was screaming and saying some kind of things it was when i later watched this video that's when i noticed he was screaming at the beginning and if i didn't have my headset on i would have gotten that a lot and i would have just escaped now because it is on the ground you have one way going in and one way out okay and it is very difficult you're not going to know what is going on upstairs like in the world when you're on the ground in the gym you know if you've ever been to any underground building you understand what i'm talking about so it's mostly one way in one way out and or if they have several but i'm just saying it is kind of isolated and anything can happen down there if you scream nobody's even going to hear you okay because one the music is playing loud in the gym with all the speakers that is connected in the gym and so on and so forth so 
that being said when he came in the third time i noticed something is up with this person so i just said i'll keep an eye on the person now you know gyms they always have big mirrors all around the wall so you can see all corners from whatever point you're standing so i kept looking you know through the mirror to see behind me because right now i'm back in the door but i can see people passing behind me and if you watch closely in this video you can see him passing behind me wearing a red shirt several time, times so when i noticed that this person something was up with this person i was like okay keep an eye so if you follow my eye movement you know but i didn't want to show that i have sense that something was up so after he scanned and scanned and did all of that he now came in wanted to mount on one of the treadmills after all this weird movement he's been doing now they have three treadmills i'm using the first one he could have used the third one but he mounted on the second one which is right next to me that was another sign okay so he mounted and he was screaming and screaming trying to overshout but at this point right now that you don't see me in camera shot was when i left and i went to grab a dumbbell that i can use as a weapon because at this point i was high a lot i was like high up there with knowing that something is really wrong like i'm in danger something is up with this guy so i left and grabbed the dumbbell placing it next to me by the treadmill so i can use it to defend myself if need be as i stepped down from my treadmill went in deep into the gym to grab the dumbbell you can you saw him in camera as he walked directly to where i was even though i was screaming and talking he really didn't care you saw him on camera but anyways i kept the dumbbell and i kept going but at this point because he's still walking around i was trying to calculate how i can grab all my stuff and head for the door okay without him knowing but i didn't want to show anything that i really suspect that something is up with this strange uh, man at the gym so he mounted the uh this and he was also working at the point he was screaming and screaming uh, i slide my earpiece open i slide my headset a bit and i thought he was asking how to start the treadmill because i sometimes some people don't know how to start the machines and they can ask you for help so i was like let me not ignore this person because that might actually even make the person go more because he looks like he was weird he looked like a crazy person someone that had mental problem and a lot and that made it even worse you get so he didn't look like someone that was drunk he looked like someone with mental problems someone that's mentally unstable so so you can see me pointing to my side that was when i was trying to tell him press the green button that's how you start either you press the green there are two ways you can start the machine but i just said press the green button press the green button but he wasn't understanding what i was saying he was so i just left him in focus and kept i already told you like press the green button if you know what the green button you press it you don't but that's not my business so i just kept on going doing my exercise and talking now i was talking more to my people on tiktok so this person knows that i'm not i might be alone in the gym but i'm streaming live so many people are watching me live so i started calling out people's names saying hello i see you people were coming in into my live stream i was calling and hailing them and so on and so forth and telling them tap 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 and all of that and then at the point this man started screaming and screaming and singing like he was singing he was saying things and all of that at the point he said you're beautiful i was like let me not just ignore this man and i said and i turned and i said thank you and i continued talking to my people on tiktok and then he was still screaming and clapping his hand and screaming and screaming and it was you people on tiktok like his voice was overshadowing my voice and it was something very weird so at a point i now turned and looked at him and then we locked eyes and i could see like the evil in this person's eyes and all of that and i turned and i looked at him we I, we locked eyes and he said to me i'm not talking to you i'm talking to the lady in the mirror that was when i just concluded i said you said it to yourself this person is crazy this person is ab absolutely crazy he's totally out of his mind but i just kept on going i didn't want to show that i was really at a lot i knew something was something bad is about to happen so i just kept walking out and he said something i just don't understand i kept saying tap 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 to my people on the stream so after a while he stopped and he said he was leaving okay after screaming and screaming and screaming and doing all of that on the treadmill that he wasn't at this point he wasn't walking out anymore he just stood on the treadmill leaning on one of the handles of the treadmill leaning toward me and screaming into my live stream where well, you could not see him because you know the angle the the dimension of uh the live stream dimension of of tiktok is different from like let's say if youtube where you place it uh the other landscape you know or uh, all of that it would be different so you could not see him but he's directly by my side there on the second treadmill so after a while he stopped and said he wanted he was going and he stretched out his hand for a handshake 
immediately I was saying to myself, should I shake him? Should I not shake him? And I was like, if I don't shake him, it might even make him more angry, make him upset. I don't know, he's screaming very violently, like he looked like a very violent person. So I, so I contemplated for a few seconds if I should shake him. Stretch out my hand and I gave him the finger shake, which is not the full arm shake. And I gave him the finger shake and I said, bye. And I turned and I, when he was walking and I, he waved and I turned and I also waved and smiled just, just to be all nice and polite, not to aggravate anything, you know, just being, trying to be neutral there, cool and calm as possible. But at, at this one, I was already calculating how to leave because I noticed that he was trying to box me in. So when he said he was leaving, he left. He came down, turned off the machine, and walked out of the gym. I saw him walking out. But immediately, he went out of eye shot. Something in me just told me, this man has not gone. Watch out. So I said, okay, I will give myself a few seconds or a minute or so, and I will walk in deep into the gym towards the end. Because if I walk, into, toward, if I walk toward the end of the gym, I will be able to see the door of the gym. So... I walked in and immediately I got to where I can see the entrance. This man was standing right there in the entrance. And at the door, which is the entrance of the gym, there are two elevators that takes you upstairs from the underground where you are. He was standing there. So there's no way you're coming out of this door. You cannot take the elevator. The elevator, the two elevator and the staircase is right next to each other. So he was standing there. You cannot pass. Like he was and pacing up and down. So when I saw I now made a turn as if I was going to grab something and I turned as I was coming back towards the treadmill where my things were and thinking of what I was going to do next, he started walking very fast, violently toward me and spreading his hands open like, you know, when you're trying to fight someone and he was saying, what are you trying to do? What are you trying to do? What are you trying to do? Like I said, he had spoken a European language that I didn't understand before, but right now he was speaking English. So he was like, uh, what are you trying to do? What are you trying to do? Let's go and gym. Let's go and gym. What are you trying to do? And he was walking towards me. So I started taking steps backward, okay? Taking steps. And he was coming towards me. And I was like, if I don't stop taking these steps, he will keep rushing and anything can happen. So I stood my ground just to let him know that I'm not afraid of you. And, you know, I'm not cut out for this shit. But I didn't want to say a thing. Still holding my stuff on my hand. So he walked towards me. And I said to him, let's go to the uh, treadmill. And I turn too quickly and when I turned I was like no don't give him your back don't turn your back to a stranger and I turned again and like he was rushing toward me but when I turned immediately he now leaned back and I said to him mount your uh, treadmill I'll mount mine let's walk out so when I climbed on my own treadmill now I was trying because he was standing blocking the door there was no way for me to pass I was trying to get him into the gym so I would get few seconds i can just grab my tablet grab my stuff and just make it for the door so he came back and went in to start his own and i went on my own treadmill to press my treadmill to as if i was well, i wanted to start it mount my laptop my uh, camera and immediately he mounted on top i just grabbed my tablet and my phone left the rest of my things in the gym and i scaled out of the gym went to the reception told the reception they just didn't want to do anything it took them a long time before they even went down to check they didn't believe anything i was saying we got there he was not there and i was upstairs throughout he didn't pass from the front door nobody knew how he escaped.